Mm. <laughs> that sounded like that hurt. <laughs> yeah. So how are we going to determine which one is best? Well, we make them fight it out in an arena. Mm. Round one, fight. They can write a test. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we just need to sweat it out of them in an interrogation. So you won't talk, huh? We can stay here all night if we have to. Ugh, this is getting us nowhere. You know, we can just play them. Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Inspired the Game. My name is Sean. And I'm Lola. Today we are talking about terraforming Mars and terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. We are taking a look at the two of them and letting you know which we, one we think is better. We're going to start to talk about terraforming Mars. This game came out in 2016. It is a mid to heavy weight Euro style game that is actually very popular. And uh, Ares Expedition followed in 2021. It's a somewhat simplified version of Terraforming Mars and actually calls itself the Terraforming Mars card game. Which is a little ironic because they both have an enormous amount of cards. Lots of cards. <laughs> and when you look at them, there's a lot of similarities between the two games. For instance, the cards, they have many cards that have the exact same name, the same function, even the same color. There's a lot of overlap there. The, um, the boards as well, they both have hexes, which, um, which you get to terraform. And the object of both games is to complete the parameters in temperature, oxygen, as well as putting out enough water tiles as well. One of the fundamental differences with the game is that Ares Expedition comes with a set of cards that demark which actions you can do within a turn. Whereas terraforming Mars each round, you can do everything and anything that you want. You have complete freedom. Ares Expedition, each turn is dictated by what card you play and your opponents. Let's take a look at that. In Ares Expedition, everyone starts off with five cards that will determine what you get to do within every round. Each round, you choose one of your cards, place it down face down, everybody else does the same, and then together everyone turns their cards up. The top ability is what everybody gets to do. The card that you played, you get the bottom bonus. So both games, uh, the engine building of both games is something that I really enjoy. It's a lot of fun putting those cards together, getting the, the tags that you need to put out other cards similarly uh, and build up resources and buy more of these things uh, to the point where they say it should take about an hour to play Ares Expedition, I think 90 minutes to uh, two hours, I think, for Terraforming Mars. We blow that out of the water because we're just having so much fun building up our cities and our terrain and our cards and three hours have gone by before it's finally fine I'll, I'll finish off that last bit in the game the uh, the last turn is now done it's like all right now we can start adding up our points but but building that uh that tableau of, of everything is just the most fun i think i've had losing a game <laughs> <laughs> can i can i tell them can i tell them absolutely i, I have nothing to hide here from everybody <laughs> i am completely undefeated in these games and yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no shame that I'm going to share to you. <laughs> Terraforming Mars was one of my um, all-time favorite games for a very, very long time. In fact, I like to consider it uh, a gateway game to heavy Euros. It was my first taste of a heavier <clears throat> game, and it blew my mind. It blew my mind because the strategy is was so... In, in so deep there was so much to it there was so much to think about all the time and it was one of those first games where i would would play it and get actual goosebumps i would get like t i would i would i would 
be so excited. I'd be having little adrenaline rushes as I, as I calculate everything that I'm going to be doing in this turn and that turn and the following turns, kind of like in chess, where you can figure things out long in advance while watching what this fellow is doing and, and making, making my moves appropriately. Um, so it was really, it was really, really fun for me right from the beginning, um, playing Ares Expedition. It, um, we just got it just this past month and it is supposed to be a shorter form of it and um, a little bit lighter, which it is. And as far as the shortness of it, we've had games that were about the same. So we actually just recently played Terraforming Mars again, and our game ran about two hours, I think. Yeah. And we played Ares Expedition. Our first game was about two hours, but it was our first game. Our second one was about an hour and a half. Uh, so it is marginally quicker, but, um, and, but it is decidedly lighter. Not a lot. There's still a good amount of strategy to Ares, but it's not as deep to me as Terraforming Mars. When I was thinking about it, one of the thoughts I had is Ares Expedition makes me think of a paint by numbers. Because of the whole card system where you've got those five cards, you put down one, you get to do that one action, and then whatever the other players happen to put down, you've got to wait the next turn before you can do something else. Part of your turn and what you can do is decided by everybody else. Of course, you work with that, and there's great strategy with that as well. But um, Terraforming Mars is more of a blank canvas. You've got this beautiful work in front of you and you can do with it whatever you want. And that's part of the engine, engine building process. So as you build your engine, you get powerful. You get to this place where you can do all these things. You can do these amazing combos. And, um, and, it, and that's part of what gives you that really excited feeling as you go through the game. So as far as what I think um, about the two, I think they're both great games. I don't think anybody um, can say that they're not both great games. They're, they're both fantastic games. Mm -hmm. As far as which one I prefer, if I had to choose between one or the other, and I can only keep one, I'd be very sad because I want them both. But if I can only keep one, hands down, it would still be Terraforming Mars. Terraforming Mars is my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And Ares Expedition is really fun and exciting, especially when I kick his ass. <laughs> so hearing you talk about the layers of strategy and how you plan ahead and all this other stuff, yeah. I start to see why I'm losing these games every single time. <laughs> um, but I see what in Ares Expedition you say that it's less strategy. And I guess I see what you're saying to a certain extent, but I also think, well, then it kind of adds almost a layer of social deduction in there because... Mm -hmm. Um, the thought of, I want to do this, uh, I want to, I want to deploy, I want to play a green card, but I'm fairly certain, uh, especially in a two player game, well, mm -hmm. granted we haven't played this in, at a higher player count yet, but in a two player game, if I think she hasn't played her green card, so she might be doing that too. What else would I like to do as an action? Maybe I want to, uh, do the production phase so I can mm -hmm. gather more resources so I can kind of maybe try and deduce are you going to play that green card and let you do that part and then i can yeah. play production and that way i can get both those things done in that turn those are usually the turns <laughs> that we both play the green card or the production yeah. card and neither of us has to do a second action <laughs> that's but... what i was going to say is half the time we were doing the same thing <laughs> and so you're like okay i gotta break the cycle i'm gonna play a different card <laughs> maybe my third choice then um and and i see that as another layer of strategy sure not any better at it than the other than the first couple but um yeah and, and, I, and i think mm -hmm. that's it's mostly the simultaneous play of aries yeah. because uh everybody puts down a card that determines the actions that we're all going to take at yeah. the same time um that makes it a little more exciting a little uh, mm -hmm. a little more fun for me um yeah granted i also think that's not to my advantage because then I'm not paying attention necessarily to what my opponents are doing. I'm concentrating on me. And then what am I going to do for my next turn? And they're off doing their thing. And unless I raise my head and look around and say, oh, hey, look what's happening over there. Maybe I should, you know, do something to counteract that. Or uh, I guess you really can't. But um, maybe I should, I, I should increase. I should step up my production of, of getting uh, those victory points or whatever. But uh, if my head down is over, is my head... If my head is down over my game, then again, another example of why I'm not winning these games. 
Well, it, it, the simultaneous play, that's a really important thing to bring up because that is a really strong feature of Ares Expedition that is really nice. Terraforming Mars, we've mostly played just the two of us, and I like it that way because there's just enough time um, after your turn, during your other player's turn, to decide what you're going to do in your next turn, and now it's your turn again. If there's four people around the table, there's a lot more downtime. Ares Expedition is so nice not to have that with the simultaneous play. It's really good. Um, and there's, there's some fun strategy with the cards too because one thing sometimes because i'm a meanie what i would do to him is i would play the action card which lets us use our tokens to like put out landforms to or, or to um raise temperature and oxygen and stuff like that and i would do it right before he had enough to do it with his i'd see he was just under the threshold but i could do it and so it was a good time to do it so there's some of the extra strategy in there <laughs> So they were both definitely very strategic. So there's no denying about that. They both have. And the strategy is different yeah, with both. That was an accident. So honestly, if somebody tried to make me get rid of one, I would be fighting tooth and nail because I love them both and I wouldn't want to get rid of either of them. <laughs> hmm. So do you say then you you would choose Ares Expedition? I think then? I would choose Ares yeah. Expedition. Yeah. Guess we should go battle it out. <laughs> 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 they are both very good games and i'm glad that we have both in our collection mm -hmm. absolutely thank you so much for joining with us today and keeping it to the end we hope that you subscribe and like and please comment down below and check out some of our other videos see you later bye bye